If you want to know what a man looks like that works a full-time job and does van building at the weekend, looks like this. Yeah, let's get a van. Look, I've got a red eye, red nose. Yeah, whatever. This is what Soph's doing anyway. Oh, oh. oh look how beautiful you are. <laughs> little cutie pie. Are you beautiful? <laughs> oh. <laughs> hey there and thanks for tuning in so we're andy and sophie and last year we made the decision to work on changing our lives for the better we've grown really tired and weary of the rat race only living for the weekend or looking forward to a holiday once a year it was just starting to feel wrong so we've made a plan to start working on projects to improve our lives and we're going to bring you along with us our first adventure is converting our camper van ray with the hope it will provide us the ability to find some new life adventures. We actually started filming these videos a little bit haphazard, so apologies in advance. We are going to do our best to piece together what we have got so far, just to bring you up to speed on where we are in the journey. I just need to reiterate as well, by the way, this isn't a how-to van build channel. We're two very normal people with little to no knowledge of doing DIY, and we are just basically watching YouTube videos and reading to, to learn how to do this stuff. So come along, join us, and watch all the mistakes that we make. But, you know, also watch us sometimes getting it right. Anyway, let's get stuck in. Hi, guys. No, I don't do that. Welcome to our channel. <laughs> Why do they always say that? Hi, guys. Well, welcome back to Life Adventure Projects. We have been making some kind of good progress on the van but it's feeling very slow it's a lot of stuff that you're never going to see but obviously it's important but today is an important well not important it's an exciting day because we're going to be doing the floor which I feel like is going to be a game changer I think you're meant to do the floor first I've seen people do floor relatively early we're still quite early yeah but yeah that's fine mm. so we're going to just med like lay out. Are we doing the layout? Is that what we're doing? Yeah. yeah. Well, basically, just a quick update. So yeah. what we've done so far is um, insulation, um, yeah. which is kind of covered off a bit of behind it. It's all sound deadening. It's all been completed. Yeah. That's the cat on the roof. Celotex <laughs> um, across here, back here, down at the bottom. Um, we've also put recycled plastic in behind some of that. Um, all the ribs across here all being filled with um, recycled plastic. We've left the backs because that's yeah. where the flares are going to go. Um, and oh yeah, and we've carpeted oh, stuff. Carpeted, yeah. yeah. Can you see this? Yeah. So we've done the carpeting of the window, and we've also done it around the edge of the sliding door. And the back doors. Oh, and the back doors. God, look how tight. That actually look like a something out of 28 Days Later. <laughs> yeah. Um, so, so that's it, really. And we've insulated the cab a bit as well. Put sound yeah. deadening there. Yeah. So I think, yeah. I think next stage, floor down, and then we can start getting into the real, the real stuff. Electrics. Electrics will be next. Wiring. Yeah. exciting day we are putting the plywood in on the floor and um, it's all insulated it's got the battens on it's aluminium taped Andy spent a lot of time last weekend doing all that while I was working and so we're putting in the plywood today so we've got two sheets at the moment Andy thinks we're gonna need a third so we're gonna get the two sheets that we've got kind of measured up we need to figure out how to mark where the wheel arches are going um, and then yeah get that uh, sorted out sorry you can probably hear the washing machine in the background 
um so yeah we will take you along with us let you know what we how we're doing it what we're doing if it works <laughs> it's probably going to take all day as everything normally does so let's go and find andy now plywood good morning good morning what a terrible spot you have <laughs> what are you doing oh are you tidying stuff up i'm trying to get stuff out of the garage okay so we've got somewhere to cut yeah the garage is okay it looks better to be fair i thought this was gone it'd be better wouldn't it oh yeah we've not shown how much sellotex we bought have we <laughs> so we bought what did we buy 20 sheets or something yeah, a little bit over the top. And this is what we've got. We've used all we need to now. We've got a lot left. Ten left. I think we walked 15 sheets and got ten left. Yeah. So don't overbuy Celotex. <laughs> I don't think anyone else has, have they? No. So yeah, this is the plywood that we're going to be putting in today. So yeah, we'll let you know how it goes and take you along, let you know what we're doing. So it's now Sunday, as per usual. Didn't really film very much. Um, one of Andy's friends actually came round, saw my story on Instagram that I put up that we were doing the floor, and he is like a carpenter. Um, and so he came round, him and Andy did the floor in about an hour. <laughs> um, unfortunately, the front two bits didn't quite fit, they weren't quite long enough, so we spent some time yesterday afternoon redoing those. So I mentioned yesterday the amount of Celotex that we had. You'll see it is now gone. Um, Andy put it on Face Bay and it went within hours. So made a little bit of money back. I mean, we sold it for less than we bought it, but um, yeah, that's gone. So we have a bit more room in here now. So we're gonna try and, I mean, we, we want this to kind of obviously be the workshop. Um, we currently have this machine and a Starbucks bacon roll it looks like um so yeah oh i haven't shown you these either so this is the flares i mean it's just a cardboard box at the moment but the flares are in there oh it's going fuzzy no, flares in a cardboard box. <laughs> so we've there's a few coats on one of them we still need to do that but it's um not very good well we haven't got the paint basically so yeah today's plan is finish off the plywood so as i was saying oh cali <laughs> Hello. Hello. <laughs> so this is one of the bits for the front. So we need to, oh no, it's not. We've actually got this bit already. So we need to basically cut out this and then it's gonna go at the front of the van. So then we'll be nearly there. If you want to know what a man looks like that works a full-time job and does van building at the weekend looks like this yes yeah, get a van look I've got a red eye red nose yeah whatever this is what Soph's doing anyway how you doing on yeah, just making this a good base first and then I'm gonna do it. I'm trying to be like proper about it <laughs> <laughs> rather than rushing it. Not quite. Right. Just a little bit more off there, but it's, we're still gonna have a problem here. Why? Because it's not, it's this, this bit here ain't, this bit ain't straight, that mm. bit is. Yeah. Which is annoying. Which means I'm basically trying to make this fit because this bit here is too long. Mm. So I'm more tempted to, to go and cut this bit. Yeah. It's only that bit there as well. Yeah, exactly. Getting there. 
Oh, well, this bit doesn't look like it's going to fit either, does it? What bit? Like that bit over there, the longer bit. No, it probably won't, but I kind of just want to get that, well, that, yeah. that bit sorted first. Cool, get in there. Here he comes, this might be the final fitting. Here we go. Well, this board needs pushing back, otherwise it's definitely not going to fit. Oh. Oh, I mean, oh god, oh god, oh, yeah, that ain't no, no, it's terrible. Why? Um, you need a bit of that oh, little fine. end, yeah. There you go, there you go, yeah. I mean, it's not that's not bad. I mean, once it's down, yeah, that's fine. Well done. <laughs> broken. Look at that. Puzzle complete. Cool. That ain't bad. We have a whole yeah. floor. And actually, gap wise, I think we've recovered it. Yeah, mostly. Nice. Not in quite right. No, doesn't make any sense. No, oh, it's not working, is it? Oh god, why? Is it not lined up properly or something? Yeah. So we're putting the first ceiling batten up, but as always, it's not quite going as easily oh, yeah, broke. as we thought it would and one of them appears to be broken. That's the problem. Nothing is ever as easy as people make it on their videos. Okay, so we've just realised what the issue is. So we're using these riv nuts. We've put them in with that riv nut thing, Bob. But the riv nut wasn't in tight enough. So this is what they look like. Ignore that gash on my hand. Um, but it's just twisting as as we're screwing it, so it's not it's not in um, enough basically. So you can see this one. I'll just show you. Let me show you. The whole thing's twisting, which means it's obviously not holding it up. Um, so we're just trying to get that out. At least we know, so that's good. But we have just broken a piece of wood, which is not ideal, but never mind. Okay. So, pattern number one. It's slightly difficult, but we'll get there. Okay, so electrics. <laughs> Where do we get to? So, so far, we've connected up a temporary leisure battery from Halfords just to kind of get things working, just so we can figure out how it goes. So at the moment I've got obviously positive, negative, going to a fuse box. So going to the fuse box um, and I've labelled each thing here. So we've got the max fan coming in. We've got a zone two lights and a zone one lights so that we've got the front of the van that we can switch on or we can switch on the back of the van or switch on both or whatever you want to do. We've also got a bathroom light separately which should pair all of these. So the way I've done this, um, I've used um, lever switches to basically get it all connected together. Um, actually was a bit of a faff, but way easier than just doing like connections together. Um, so that's kind of come through. So we've done it obviously, um, positives will go into one, all negatives go into one. Um, I can then branch out and then create the light here. In this case, I've branched out. And then you can create obviously two different lights. Um, I've obviously for these one had to uh, separate them because that's going to be the bathroom. Um, what I've also done is um, cable down here, which is going to be just the switch cable. 
um, and that same applies here. So these, all these should break off the two different zones. Two cables here, that's going to power once a switch goes onto it. A switch that yeah, can roughly go around here. So, cool. so lights are on. Mm -hmm. Oh, oh yeah, sorry, I just turned it off. So lights know. on? Yeah, oh, so, yeah. So, so, so we should be able to switch all these lights on now. So they're all powering. Yay. Um, and then down oh, here. Wow, they're all on. Yeah. Look how bright it is. Yeah, all the lights. <laughs> Hurrah! Oh my god. So that's good. So good. So now we want to test the Max Fan because obviously we bought this thing ages we ago. We did, so it's here. And we actually haven't tested it even if it works. And it, it may be broken, yeah. We don't know. So. Moment of truth. How do you, what do you have to do? Am I even connected? Oh, have you plugged it in? Yeah. <gasps> oh my god. <gasps> oh my god! Yeah! Wow! <laughs> <laughs> so yeah, cool. Is, what? So is it pulling air out or in or what? Oh my god. I don't know how it works. We have a max fan. Room temperature 18 degrees apparently. This is like when you know you ran life person. <laughs> Got a max fan. Got a van going now. <laughs> so it's great. Lights, fans, all action stations. <laughs> Yeah, it's a pretty oh successful day. Oh my god, day. well done. And by the way, Andy's done literally all of this on his own. All the electric stuff. Well, I'm most of everything else, but... <laughs> That's amazing, honestly. Well done. Yeah, I'm pleased with that. You should be. That, that has actually gone well. Awesome. Weirdly. There's still a few niggles we've got to figure out, though. Switches. Yeah. Think, so we've obviously got a switch we can test that out. Yeah. To make sure they all work. And also, I think I can get it so that when we, when we switch it on, all the lights come on. At the moment, they're not doing mm. that. Yeah, that one does seem to be. Oh, that one does come on? Yeah. So that means it, it? Must, it's something to do with the circuit that okay. I need to figure out. So it's, it's all fixable. It's not because they're touch lights. That one does still. It comes on also. Oh. It, sh it should do, yeah. I think it's because of the switch. Okay. So the switch needs to complete the circuit. Yeah. And I think that's what we need to do. That end. Look at the fan fanning. Oh my god. Yay! Well done! What are you doing? Hi everyone, so oh, back in the van, so I didn't really get a lot of filming done yesterday because to be honest with you it's quite hard to do wiring and film at the same time, just needed to get my head focused. But I've, I've put most of the wires through the van now, so you can see here um, I've got uh, spaghetti junction, um, 
got loads of wires coming through, all the way through here, all the way over here. So um, as I was saying yesterday, I'd originally done DC to DC, so that's through the front route through to the back. Yesterday we focused on, I say we, me, um, getting through so some wires for the front for some USB sockets. Um, uh, a wire is going to come across here in the window for an LED to come under the window frame. Um, we've got some obviously wires over here that are going to be for, what even is that for? Oh yeah, under unit lighting. And over here are some wires that are going to be for the switches, which I'm going to obviously try and get all switches to route across here. Um, the bathroom has got its own light, it's also got its own switch. It's all fun and games. Um, the back here, we've got some wires in place now for um, bed lamps, which will be going next to us with some USBs on it. Um, at the bottom here, um, we've got wires now for... I think this is a 4.5 mil, and that's for the Truma uh, heater and water heater. Um, and also here, I think I've got just a what is this one for? Oh, that's for the shower, power of the shower. And I've got a 60, yeah, 16 mil. Is that 16 mil? I can't remember. No, six mil. Probably 16 mil. Six mil. Um, for the fridge. I think that's pretty much it, but it's certainly a lot of wires. Um, so now I'm just going to try and tidy it up really, because um, I think once we've done the wires, I can move on to the next bit, which is basically going to be just to put up the vapour barrier, get everything secured, so then we can start putting the ceiling up, and start putting some of the sides up, and then, yeah, start getting to the, uh, get into the building bit. Woo! -hoo. Right, so electrics. I'm now going to install, just, so that, just to check they work really, um, the USB plugs. If I got, I tried to get some of these plugs that are, um, yeah. Woohoo! So I think you can turn these off by this switch here, and um, and because of this cover here, there'll be no glowing at night time, keeping me awake. Um, so yeah, getting rid of the lights. From these things is important. I've only got two at the moment. Um, I think I'm going to need more to be honest. Um, but within these two, there's two USBs obviously, so four altogether. Um, and this is going to be going into the dining area, which would be just at the front. So, yeah, should place them up. So, yeah, let's get installing them. So, one cable coming in, I'm now coming off of a three block connector so that I've got an extra cable and that gives me the ability to, off of one wire, plug in, sorry, um, wire up two USB plugs. So this end here, as you can see coming through, one off here, all the way, one here, which is my USB. And now I'm just going to wire this one up so that I can... Uh, Test it out. Okay, and Bob's your uncle. We're now wired in. All right, so we're now wired in to. USBs <sighs> and this wire here as you can see 
comes here and goes all the way back to the back of the van. So let's go over there. So you can see here all the wires here and I think for this USB ones they're going all the way to the front pretty much. So the trick now is to find it. So as it happens I have labelled them all. So one of them here should say, there you go, USB, yes yeah, so USB port. So I've got that there, labelled it up and that's the importance I think really of trying to make sure that when you're cabling stuff through and you've got so many cables is that we bought some labels so we could uh, you know literally label everything and what it actually does. As you can see here I have tidied this up quite a bit to try and keep it neat as it was very very messy. Right then, so let's dig that out and uh, start wiring it in. Right, so the wire that was coming down here to the front, I've just uh, basically turn this off into two wires and um, plumbed in the USB thingy my jigs. And look, we have power. Same on this one. We have power. And it charges the phone. So it's all working. Buzzing! Right, so now that we've got the um, most of the wiring in, I, I don't think I'm like 100% complete on the wiring yet, but it's good enough. Um, that I'm going to now just put in the vapor barrier because we really want to get to the point that we can start to put a ceiling up. Um, we're looking pretty good so far in terms of um, progress. So yeah, vapor barrier. So this little beast. Um, yeah. Do you notice how much I sigh? It's like constantly sighing. Because I'm constantly working on the van. <laughs> right, it's all good. Let's get going. Thanks for watching folks. So in the next video, we're gonna be focused on putting up the patterns on the walls, uh, finishing the vapor barrier, and getting that all important ceiling in. So see you in the next one.